markets where immigrants and workers may be less welcome than in other places. Uh, you have to expect, and I think because of the recent uh, global terrorist activities, the migrant, uh, the refugee crisis that clearly is affecting so many countries, one has to expect more verifications of employment permits, more checks to make sure that the people are qualified, that they are allowed to be there. I think that's important, and I think we as HR folks, as Immigration Council, have to provide for that and have to take that into consideration. Okay, what are the improvements that Germany has tried to make based um, on the factors or on the fact that they want to welcome qualified people? They're trying to make things easier. They're trying to provide for simpler applications. They're trying to make it a little uh, process friendly or they make their process friendlier for people who are applying and for hopefully all of you who are sitting here and helping your employees to also get into those countries. Uh, the government has reduced, they, they've actually made it simpler. And from that perspective, a couple of changes that have driven down processing times, if you look at it from that perspective, which is important from your perspective, because when your individual comes in and says, I need to be there in three weeks, or I need to be there in two weeks, and you turn around and say, well, I need at least eight weeks, that's not exactly the answer that they want to hear. So you've got to look and see how that helps you. Um, for those who were previously on the long-term stays, they can get in with just consular approvals, which means they may not need that additional processing time for their, uh, for their application or their petition, as the case may be. If the local authorities do not give you a rejection within 10 days of submitting the application, you can assume that they've given you their consent, which is kind of clearly nice, uh, because if you don't need to worry and you can have a default consent, that I think is always very, very welcome. You're actually then at that point in, say, at that point in time are watching your clock and counting your days. It's 10th you know, day, you're all done, you don't have anything bad, you're good to go. Clearly that helps. Uh, dependence, what happens to dependents, which is always a big issue. Whether it's in the US, whether it's anywhere in the world, can the dependents work? How quickly can the dependents travel? Uh, what is their status when they get to those countries? Um, and as we can see, Germany seems to be welcoming them, basically. Uh, they've reduced that processing time also to about two to three weeks. Uh, previously, it was taking several months before the, individual, before the dependents would get processed. The EU blue 